Hello, I'm Rahul and today I'm going to talk about something which is deeply missing from the modern lifestyle, relaxation. I wonder if you have ever noticed how incapable we are of being restful and quiet. Not many of us know what real relaxation means. We are not at all acquainted with the silence, beauty and rejuvenation that it brings. And there is a reason behind it. The reason is that we live in the age of information overload. Right from the moment when we wake up in the morning, we are just bombarded with information. The news, the mails, the texts, there is this uninterrupted flow of information that we have to consume. Our brain has to process each and everything, nothing goes unregistered. So while we are awake, our brain has to work really hard to process all the information. And while we are asleep also, again our brain has to work really hard to assimilate all the information. This is the reason why a lot of people who don't even have a much demanding job end up becoming fatigued and exhausted at the end of the day. Because when they are not doing anything, they are just scrolling their phone, they are watching something on it, they are playing some game, they are checking their notifications. So doing this is bound to make you exhausted. And it is such an alarming situation, we have no idea about it. In one research, it was found that the amount of information that we receive in a week today is equal to the amount of information that we used to receive in an year's time. And this is just 15 years back. So we are just burdened with information. Our brain hardly ever gets any rest. And what do you think will happen to a machine that constantly goes on working without any rest? It will break down. And when it comes to our mental processes, they are not very different from a machinery. Sooner or later, we will have to face the consequences. So rest is the most needed thing for the modern human beings. So let's try to understand what rest means and how we can introduce it in our lives. First of all, you need to understand that there are a lot of wrong notions about rest. Rest is a state in which neither you are doing anything mentally nor physically. It is a state of complete non-doing. In such a state, your mind simply becomes like a pond without any ripples because there is nothing to process. You are so utterly relaxed in the moment and out of that relaxation, you feel rejuvenated. You regain your vitality. And what we usually do in the name of rest is chilling. We go to the pubs, we go to the movies, we watch the Netflix and none of it is rest. None of it brings rejuvenation. On the contrary, you feel more exhausted after indulging in such things. So this needs to be understood that we have really wrong notions about rest and we are doing exactly the opposite things in the name of rest. We are exhausting ourselves. The second thing to be understood is that a right amount of relaxation is needed. By right amount, I simply mean a balance between rest and unrest, a balance between action and inaction. And Buddha's word for this balance is Majjim Nikai, the middle way. If you are going to drift towards just one polarity, imbalance is bound to arise. Work all day and night and it will become a problem. And rest all day and night, then also it will become a problem. So a balance has to be sought. And how are you going to seek this balance in the modern world? First of all, you need to understand that times have really changed. Most people are working 9 to 5 jobs. They are just sitting at one place, staring at the computer screen. And when they are not doing their work, they are scrolling their phone, they are consuming some information. So their mind is working all the time and their body is never ever working. So our mental activity has become too much and our physical activity has become too less. To balance, a mental rest is needed and a physical activity is needed. So I will talk about two methods of relaxations that will help you with the same. The first is relaxation through non-doing. I think that it is very important for all of us to be in a state of complete non-doing for some time during the day. And by non-doing, I simply mean that you should turn off your physical and mental machinery. You should get some rest because it is out of rest that you will feel rejuvenated. You will regain your vitality. Now, the problem is that it's very easy to understand that we should give some rest to our body and mind. But the moment you're going to try it, you will fail at it. You can give some rest to your body, but the nature of mind is not to be restful. Now, I will give you a very simple technique which will help you in turning off the mind. Whenever you are alone or whenever you have some free time, just close your eyes and focus all your attention on the incoming and outgoing breath. Initially, it's going to be difficult 
because the moment you will try to focus on the breath you will find that you are lost in thoughts your mind will wander it will start imagining things the idea here is that the moment you realize that your mind has wandered bring back your attention to the breath again and again your mind will wander and again and again you have to bring back your attention on the breath doing this you will find that sooner or later your mind is bound to become silent this simple technique was used by buddha for the stillness of the mind in fact buddhist people say that our mind is like a wild elephant and in ancient times in order to tame the wild elephant people used to tie it to a pole using a strong rope initially the elephant used to scream it used to trample the rope but eventually it settled down knowing that it cannot go anywhere similarly our mind is also like a wild elephant and in order to tame this wild elephant we are using our attention and breath as rope and pole initially the mind is going to wander here and there but eventually it will also settle down it will just turn off and the beauty of this thing is that you can practice it any time during the day the moment you have these breaks of 5 or 10 minutes at your workplace just close your eyes and focus all your attention on the breath and the more you are going to do it during the day the more peaceful you will become now when it comes to relaxation through doing most of us choose the wrong kind of activities most of us watch some show on the tv and that in turn makes us more exhausted and drained out because there is so much information to process instead of watching the tv you can listen to the music and you can also dance at the same time and by music i simply mean classical music classical music has no words no lyrics no symbols to process it will make you more peaceful it is a beautiful rhythm of sound and silence and when you are listening to it start moving with music the idea here is to become mentally silent and physically active in this case it's going to happen you can also get involved in the gardening you can go for a jog or some form of mild exercise these are the active ways of relaxation in which you don't have to process much mentally the idea is to get totally involved in some simple activity and out of that involvement the relaxation happens so play around a little find out how you can introduce active relaxation in your life a simple criteria to know whether you're doing it right is to notice how you feel afterwards if you feel more relaxed if you feel more rejuvenated then perhaps you're doing it right if you feel more exhausted and tired then perhaps you are doing it wrong then drop the activity and experiment with the new one after all it's your life and you have to experiment with it so i hope that you had an insight into what right relaxation is and you will use both the methods of relaxations the active and passive in order to become more balanced person and i wish you all the best for that